Hi everyone, Idaho Amy here, and I want to take the time to show you my latest altered canvas that I made using some Old Curiosity Shop and some Steampunk Debutante from Graphic 45. Um, two of my favorite paper lines, um, although I love pretty much all of Graphic 45 stuff, um, as you can tell by my YouTube channel. Um, but uh, I just want to show you how I did this. Um, I first off started with um, a canvas, just like this one. I found it at my thrift store and um, it was $1.95. Um, I got two of them and uh, obviously it's like a paint by number type thing and it wasn't something that I would have ever normally bought except for the fact that it was a canvas and it just happens to be 12 by 12 which is perfect for scrapbooking layouts and so when I saw them I nabbed them up because canvases can be pretty expensive depending on where you find them. And uh, so I thought, ah, still. So I got those at my thrift store, um, along with a lot of the different things that I end up altering. Um, but what I did first was I painted the canvas black. So I just went around and painted it. And of course, I didn't paint the back because, you know, this one's for my own personal collection. Um, if I had done it for someone else, I would have painted the black, the back up too. But um, this is going to go on my wall. So I just painted around the edge so it's black all the way around. And so then what I did was I took this um, Ink Essentials Glue and Seal by Ranger. I love this stuff. Um, I've been using it quite a bit here lately. And I got some tissue paper from my friend Leah. And it's this one that I stuck on there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like kind of a Paris theme uh, print. It's got some Eiffel Towers and stuff on it. And the reason I picked this tissue paper was because my daughter has been into Paris stuff lately. And I really wanted to make this um, for her. Um, eventually it'll be hers. But it's going to go on my scrapbook wall for a while until uh, I decide that I don't have room for it anymore. Um, so what I did was I just used that uh, glue and seal and um, attached the tissue paper and I just kind of did it roughly. I actually cut it out 12 by 12 or a little bit bigger and then I kind of scrunched it down and glued it down and you can see it kind of through out the thing and it's kind of like textured and the black kind of shows through in some places where um, you can't really read what it says but right here that I really love is the word Paris and it shows up really really well and so um, when I was putting down my green mat here um, I made sure and ripped ripped it out so that you could see the word Paris and um, I inked the edges but I'll show you the papers that I used for this um, collection here or for this thing I only used um, scraps so um, I'm going to show you the full sheets here, but um, sorry the camera's a little bit wiggly. I'm trying to be able to reach around and stuff and still show keep the thing in frame. So um, I first off started with this sheet of paper. It is the Old Curiosity Shop, and I used the frame around the outside. and just It was cut out because I had used the inside pieces for other projects. And so I had the frame left over, and so I decided that was going to be my frame um, for this canvas. And it fits perfectly. It's a little bit smaller, which is nice, because then you can have some of that um, tissue paper sticking out the outside of it. And so I used that. And so then I decided I wanted to put some, you know, something in the middle. And so I have tons and tons and tons of this paper left. And it is the Apothecary, I hope I said that right, um, sheet of paper. Um, oh, it's Apothecary, I think. Anyway, whatever it is. But I like the sheet, and I like the green of it. Um, so I just, um, I think it was like a 10 by 10 sheet or something like that. And I just went around and um, roughed up the edges of it and then used a pencil to roll the edges in. Um, to make it more 3D. Ripped some pieces out. Um, I even ripped more over here, but then I covered it up. And uh, so I used that one. And then for the steampunk lady, 
It's um, the Time Warp um, piece, and I had used all the other pieces from this paper except for the Balloon Lady, and so I just cut her out and, and then popped her off on with pop dots. And then I had this sheet right here, which is the Butterfly um, Specifics, and so I cut out a few of the butterflies, and uh, I started with the larger ones and went up to smaller ones as it went around. Because um, I saw somewhere else where someone said that it helps make it look like they're flying away, as if you start with the bigger ones and then, um, you know, go smaller as you go up. It makes it look like they're further off in the distance, and I liked that idea. I thought that was a good pointer that I had never thought of. And then this um, key right here was a leftover scrap from this sheet right here, and it's the parlor wall. So um, I just used that the key off of there, and I cut it out. I even cut it, you know, I cut fussy cut, you know, all of it out so it looks like it's actually, you know, a key on there. So I did that. And then um, I had this heart in my stash. I'd gotten it from a scrapbook store that went out of business. Um, I'd bought it before it went out of business, but I'd been hoarding it because, um, you know, it's the only one I have, and it's rusty and cute, and I love the shape of it. And um, I decided to put it on my daughter's page because it was something that I wanted to keep. I didn't want to put it on something that I was selling because it was something that, that I just really wanted to keep for us. And I did stitch around here, and this paper right here is not Graphic 45. It's actually from the Trade Winds collection by Die Cuts with a View, but I liked the red of it. It matched really well to that. So I used that. And then this is just a Graphic 45 tag that was left over um, from probably some um, of their brads or whatever that I was using. And uh, this right here is a pop um, bottle um, cap, and it says, mm, my favorite. And um, our joke in the house is that I always tell my daughter, oh, you're my favorite daughter, or, you know, you're my favorite girl, and then my son is, you're my favorite boy. So um, I, I like that because it says, mm, my favorite. And um, these are from the Henry Weinhardt's root beer. So if you want to find these bottle caps, that's where I get them. My husband likes to drink that root beer, so um, he gives me lots of bottle caps. And this right here is the Tim Holtz um, ideology, and I had gotten a whole bunch of these um, on clearance at Michael's for a dollar fifty or a dollar ninety nine each, and I thought that was an absolute steal. So I grabbed a bunch, and then a couple. One of my friends, Kim, she's so sweet. She knows how much I love Tim Holtz and Graphic 45. So she bought me another set of these for a gift. So I love these. These are great metal embellishments to put on stuff. And so for the memories, the word memory, I use this by Colorbach. And it's from the Antique Papery collection. And it was just one of the sayings out of there. So I've used a couple of them out of there so I don't have a full package to show you but um, I just wanted to show you how I had done the memories part. Um, and I just picked one that was the same size that had a saying in it that I liked. And then these are, I have little gears all throughout hidden. There's some down here, here, up here, over here. And I put those in there just for some texture and I love gears too. They're really cool. Plus it ties in some of the metal-y look to it. And um, some of these were a gift from um, I think Audra or somebody in one of our um, swaps. Um, and then these other ones I got at Michael's for really cheap and I've used them on a few projects. But then I have down here hidden this little clasp thing and instead of putting it on jewelry I just used it as um, a decoration to glue on the corner of the page just to give it some more metal and it has little diamond things on it and it looks pretty so I just kind of stuck that in there to make it so that you know you have some little things peeking out of the flowers and uh, two of these flowers I got from Karen we did a swap I gave her graphic 45 and she gave me a whole bunch of Prima flowers because she's down in California by Prima and uh, she can get you know their stuff and uh, I can get graphic 45 so um, we did a swap so that, so she gave me all these really pretty flowers. This one was a purple one, and I actually just inked it with Tattered Angels um, ink. And then this one is one of the flowers from Michael's in their $2 bin. And uh, I like how it's blue. Blue's my favorite color, so 
I had to make them blue on here. But anyway, I think that pretty much shows the whole, um, you know, everything that I did. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I left out. Um, I don't think there is. But if you have any questions on this project, um, please just ask and I'll try to explain how I did something or whatever. I pretty much used um, just this here. Um, I used a little bit of um, hot glue gun to glue some of this stuff down. Pop dots, um, glossy accents for all the little things to glue them on. And, um, you know, the paper I glued on with glossy accents. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys like my project. Uh, this is a picture of my daughter that we had taken not very long ago. So, um, I thought it was one of my favorites. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.